I'm Jorge Ribas, and you're wondering. So this guy is about to have a really, really bad day. Magnavolt. Of course, electroshocking car thieves probably isn't the most ethical way to reduce vehicle thefts. In Arlington, Virginia, police are using a program that's almost as effective. They've reduced vehicle thefts by 50% in the county, and all without the help of this guy. Come quietly or there will be trouble. When I was a, a, a new, newly assigned detective to the auto theft unit in 2000, I was tasked to go out and find some new innovative way to combat auto theft. Angelus turned to the Minneapolis Police Department, which had just started a program that used bait cars to catch criminals. We purchased our very first bait car, brought it in-house, and tested the heck out of it. In February of 2002, we actually placed the vehicle out for the very first time. It was stolen in April of 2002. They quickly apprehended the suspect, and since then, the department's outfitted more bait cars, although Dangelis declined to tell me just how many are out there. The cars are armed with sensors that can detect whether someone's starting the engine or even just breaking in and searching through the glove compartment. We want to get the earliest warning that we can get that someone has intruded the vehicle so that we can get units started before they actually drive away. That warning comes here to the emergency communications center. We'll hear an inaudible alarm. It'll tell us that the vehicle has been intruded. The map will zoom in to the location of the vehicle, the current location of the vehicle. And down on the bottom here, we will get some indications of exactly what's wrong. And at that point, we put in a call for service, begin to dispatch units for the area, and then monitor the activity of the vehicle. Using GPS, they track the direction and speed of the stolen vehicle. That information is relayed to officers in pursuit. Once officers get in the area and they decide how they want to approach the vehicle, they will tell us to go ahead and shut down the engine and lock the doors. And Winsock can do all this from his computer with just the click of a mouse. The cars are also outfitted with cameras and a microphone, recording everything that's going on inside once the car's been stolen, as these guys found out the hard way. We got him. He got me, too. That information is not viewed here, but we can see it later and, and use it in court for evidence, which obviously is indisputable evidence. It's great stuff to have. To ensure the program's effectiveness, the Auto Crimes Unit monitors the types of thefts occurring in different districts and then uses that data to essentially recreate those crimes. We have a huge problem with GPS thefts right now in the region, or portable electronics in general. So we'll try to outfit the car just like some of the past victims have. Where do they put their GPS on the windshield, or where do they leave their iPod? You know, we'll actually connect it to the stereo. Dangela says a lot of this could be averted if people just paid a little more attention to what they leave in their car. And look at this one. Here's a cell phone and a woman's purse just in front of the seat. Arlington County has a 100% conviction rate for people apprehended using the bait car program. Their success has spurred other police departments to implement similar programs nationwide. So it looks like it is future yet for a better way to catch car thieves. What do I do with that future meter?